What's going on my beautiful people? Welcome back to another recipe video. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a chickpea omelet or quiche or frittata or Spanish omelet, whatever you wanna call it. You can either bake it or cook it on a hot pan. And it's very simple and easy. I made it a few days ago and it was delicious, perfected the recipe, and now I'm ready to share it with you guys. So let's get into the kitchen. And real quick, if you guys are new to my channel, I share vegan recipes, fitness videos, and also vlogs from time to time. So if that's something that interests you guys, make sure to click that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you never miss an upload. I'm looking at my analytics and it looks like 60% of the people that watch are not subscribed. So if you guys could do me a huge favor, click that little red button right Right there it would mean the world to me and with that being said let's get into the video all right guys so for this chickpea omelet these are the ingredients that I'm going to be using I got some green onions that will garnish at the very end with I got some broccoli chickpea flour two potatoes that are peeled three little cloves of garlic some bell peppers right here cilantro we got paprika for the spices and salt and pepper I also have some kale on the side that I will be adding once I get all this stuff chopped up so let's get right to that so I'm just chopping up the garlic here, pretty small. You can also use like a garlic masher if you guys have one of those. So you just wanna finely chop the garlic until they're pretty much tiny little pieces. So I got the garlic finely chopped and now I'm gonna add it to the glass bowl here. And basically you're gonna chop up all your veggies and add them into this glass bowl and mix them all together. Now I'll move on to the peppers. Same thing with these, add them to the bowl. And you guys can use whatever toppings you want. These are just the ones that I'm using. When I first made this recipe, it was made with a, the Mexican chorizo spicy sausage. It's a vegan sausage by Field Roast. I'm not doing that for this one because this meal is actually gluten-free. So if anyone has a gluten allergy or anything like that, this meal is perfect for you because the chickpea flour is gluten-free. You guys could also use a soy-based sausage if you want to make it tastier. And that would also be gluten-free as well. And here we have the, the touchy subject ingredient, cilantro. I know a lot of people hate cilantro. They say it tastes like soap. I love cilantro and I'm curious to know what you guys think. Do you guys like cilantro? Are you guys fans of it? Comment down below and let me know what you guys think of cilantro. I know some people hate it and some people love it. So I'm just finely chopping the cilantro now. Now I'll move over to the broccoli and just cut it into small pieces. And we'll just give it a rough chop just to get it a little bit smaller so it's easier to mix when we have everything together. So we got all our ingredients in a bowl here and now the last step is to grate the potatoes in here. This will allow them to cook much faster opposed to if you were to cube them. But you can also cube them if you want. I'm just choosing to do this because I think it's going to be much better this way. If you guys don't have a grater, just try to get it as thin as possible with a knife. All right, so we got the potatoes all grated up. Now I'm just gonna clean up this mess a little bit. And then I got about a cup of kale right here that I'm just gonna chop up finely. And if you guys don't have kale, you can use spinach or any other green that you wanna cook with. All right, so now we got our kale finely chopped. I'm just gonna add it to the bowl. And then now you wanna grab a spoon and just mix it up so all the ingredients are evenly mixed. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add some paprika. I don't have an exact measurement, but I would say at least a teaspoon. And then we're gonna add about a teaspoon of pink salt and some pepper. And then now mix it all up so all the spices and salt and pepper are evenly coated. And keep in mind guys, these are just my preferences for the spices. That's how I'm gonna make the recipe. You guys can pick whatever spices you want. You could do garlic powder, onion powder, chili powder, any other spices or herbs that you guys prefer. All right, so I got all the veggies mixed up now. I'm gonna put these aside to grab a separate bowl and mix the chickpeas and the water to make the batter. All right guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add one cup of chickpea flour. And now after you add the chickpea flour, you're gonna to wanna to add a teaspoon of baking powder. And you guys can also add a pinch of salt to this batter as well, as well as black pepper. And then lastly, we're gonna add one cup of water. And then you're gonna to wanna to whisk this all up until it forms a batter-like consistency and you no longer see any flour. So it should look like this after you finish mixing it all up. And now we can go ahead and add all of our veggies. And the next step in the process is to add two tablespoons of vegetable oil. I'm using avocado, but you guys can use whatever vegetable oil you want. And this is to prevent sticking when you bake it or when you pan fry it. So now you just wanna mix it all up. And like I said, guys, it's a very simple recipe. All you do is get whatever veggies you like, whatever herbs and spices you like, chop them up, put them in the bowl, put some chickpea flour and water in a bowl, and then mix it all together, and then you're ready to cook it. Very simple and easy recipe that's also healthy, high in fiber, and a lot of vitamins and minerals from all the veggies. 
You could add some chopped tofu to this to make it higher protein if you'd like, but there's still a lot of protein from the chickpea flour, so you're not gonna be missing out on any protein even if you do decide to leave out the tofu. So it looks like everything is mixed up pretty well here, so now we are ready for the next step. And if you guys do notice that it is a bit runny, you can always add a little bit more chickpea flour, or vice versa, if it's too thick, you can add a tiny bit more water. So for our next step, we're gonna add about a tablespoon of vegetable oil. I'm using the same avocado oil from earlier, and you're gonna wanna brush it all around the pan and make sure it's evenly coated, and that is to prevent the sticking. Make sure you get the sides as well. So once you have the oil evenly coated, you are ready to add the ingredients in here. All right, we are ready to start baking. So I have my oven preheated at 450 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're gonna put these in there for about 25 minutes. We're looking for a golden brown crust, so let's get to cooking. All right, guys, fresh out the oven. Take a look at this. We got the golden brown crust, and I'm gonna cut a little slice out right now. So I just cut some small pieces here. We're gonna do a little taste test. I garnished it with the green onions. So let's try this out. Look at that, held together perfectly. Let's take a bite. Love it. So here's how it looks from the side, as you can see. And man, it tastes really, really good. All I will say is that if you guys want, you can use a little bit more salt. For my taste preferences, it is perfect. But I know some people do like a little bit more salt. And with salt, there's not an exact measurement. You guys can salt it to the taste, however you guys like it. But honestly, I think it's perfect just like this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you're not subscribed already. That would mean the world to me. And leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys thought. I would love to hear your feedback. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.